Hi friends! Today we will be sharing with you a sewing tutorial of our canvas backpack pattern. It has front pockets for easy access, side pockets for water bottles. We made them three dimensional so your water bottle can still fit with ease even when your backpack is full. It has a handle, adjustable shoulder straps, as well as a roll top closure system. We chose this instead of zippers because zippers break and aren't as repairable in the long run. Plus, roll top means a lot of extra volume. We also chose to have no inner compartments or any padded back or other bells and whistles because we wanted the backpack to be as simplistic as possible. The pattern comes in size small and large. Measure your own torso to see which one will fit you best and alter the sizing if you want. You can find a free PDF download of this tutorial on our website. We thought it'd be fun to see if we can fit our home sewing machine in the size small version. It does, and there is even extra space left for fabric, thanks to the roll top. As with all our other tutorials, we hope you can learn a new skill and feel free to have your own twist on it to make it fit your needs better. And if you don't have a certain material we mention, feel free to use your imagination. Change out the pattern, upcycle from old backpacks, and use scrap fabric. We will have chapter timing stamps in the description if you need. Let's get started. Materials needed. One meter of 16 ounce cotton canvas with a fabric width of 1.6 meters. Two meters of 2.5 centimeter canvas webbing. Two pieces of 2.5 cm ladder slider adjustable buckle double bars for adjustable shoulder straps, as well as one piece of 2.5 cm adjustable G hook for the roll top system, two meters of 2.5 cm lightweight cotton tool ribbon for shoulder strap edge binding. You will also need some durable threads. Stage 1. Prepare fabric. You need to cut out 19 pieces of canvas fabric and 7 strips of canvas webbing. We recommend you overlock the edges of the canvas fabric to prevent them from fraying. The next step is optional, but you can choose to scour the canvas to get rid of any dirt and oils from the manufacturing process. We will also make it more lightweight. Then optionally, wax it for more water and cut resistance. Waxing makes the canvas bulkier, so proceed with care. We have separate videos made on scouring and waxing if you need guidance. Stage 2. Basic construction. First, side pockets. Mark out a 4x4cm square at the bottom corners of the fabric piece. Then fold the corners in so the two lines marked out are touching, creating a triangle fold on the inside. Clip to secure. Sew down the triangle folds. Here is what ours look like. You can already see the three-dimensional shape. To attach the pockets to the side panels, make a little snip at each of the bottom corners like so, so that we can flatten the edges down and sew. Then sew on the lids too. Here are the side pockets finished. Now we move on to the front pocket. You can line the two fabric pieces up however you like. We are stacking them like so. We sew down the two sides and the bottom edge on the back. Attach it to the front panel like so.
then sew on the lid like with the side pockets. If you need, mark out the placement of the lid with fabric chalk before sewing. Here is the front pocket finished. To finish up stage 2, sew two bottom panels together and sew the front panel, back panel, and side panels onto the bottom panel. We wanted the seams to be facing out, so we sewed with wrong sides together. But you are welcome to do the opposite. Also, make sure you are attaching the long edges of the panels to the bottom panel. Here is what we have after stage 2. Give those bottom edges another round of stitching for extra durability. Stage 3. Shoulder straps. Sew two pieces of shoulder straps together, so you end up with two straps, each with two layers. Then bind the edges with a cotton twill ribbon to prevent fraying. Loop the 14 cm or 5.5 inch long canvas webbing around the top bar of the ladder slider adjustable buckle. Loop the 50 cm or 20 inch long canvas webbing around the bottom bar of the ladder slider adjustable buckle. Sandwich the shoulder straps and in between the short webbing strips. and sew together with a box X stitch. For the long webbing strip side, wrapped around the bottom bar of the buckle, fold the tips of the top half in twice and sew down to prevent it from coming out of the buckle. For the shoulder strap bracing, fold the squares in half into triangles and sew one of the open edges closed. We will be attaching it to the bottom half of the long webbing strip like this. Trim the outside corners off the ends of the webbing for a better fit and sandwich the trimmed corner between the opening of the shoulder strap bracing. Sew like this. Here are the straps finished. Lastly, in stage 3, we sew the shoulder straps onto the back panel. The roll top portion of the backpack is 20 cm long, so we measure 20 cm down from the top edge of the backpack panel. Mark that line and mark the middle point too. Line the straps based on that and sew them down with a box X stitch. Mark their placements with fabric chalk if you need. Here is the box X stitch. Stage four, handle and roll top. For the handle, Fold the middle section of the 20 cm or 8 inch long canvas webbing strip in half. Stitch to secure. Attach the handle to the middle of the back panel just above the shoulder straps. Thread the 60 cm or 24 inch long canvas webbing strip 
onto the G hook. Fold and sew one end up like we did with the shoulder strap webbing. The G hook should be upside down. Attach the roll top strap onto the center of the front panel about 25 centimeter or 10 inch below the top edge with a box X stitch. Now for the other part of the roll top system. Measure your G hook's hook size and mark out appropriate slots for it using fabric chalk onto the 20 cm or 8 inch long canvas webbing strip. Sew down each slot onto the top of the back panel, leaving a bit at the top to fold onto the inside. Here are the finished slots we made. Stage 5. Final assembly. Sew front panel and side panels together. For the last two seams, sandwich the long edge of the shoulder strap bracing triangle between the back panel and the side panel towards the bottom of the backpack. Then sew the panels together. We double stitched at the part with the bracing. And the backpack is finished. Here is our final product. We hope you were able to follow along. Let us know if you have any questions. We'll be very happy to answer them. We love this minimal backpack. It is an awesome companion for our adventures. A little backstory. We started to sew our own backpacks at home because our daily backpack made of nylon was falling apart in just four short years of use. There had to be a better fabric for backpacks out there, we thought. Turns out cotton canvas was the answer. It is a great, natural, yet durable alternative to nylon. It won't disintegrate into microplastics and it will last for many, many years to come with great repairability. But if you ended up making this backpack with upcycled plastic parts from old nylon fabrics, we also applaud you for that. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. See you next time. Bye bye! Plastic.